Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Tech Guy Zone. I'm Oliver, I'm the tech guy and I'm very happy to uh, show you today my new video about the x-axis, no it's not about the x-axis, about the y-axis. So originally I wanted to show you today, I wanted to make a video about my new x-axis design, but I uh, couldn't because <laughs> The last part I tried to print looked like this. Uh, this is, yes, it's ABS, but you see it's perfectly, it sticked perfectly in the beginning. But unfortunately, my uh, last time I mentioned in the video, my Y axis need to be changed because the rails are not good anymore. And now the rails are broken. So. If it sounds like this and prints like that, it's, it's broken. <laughs> so today I have no other chance. I need to, I will, I will repair my Y axis and I will show you my design. Uh, so, but uh, quickly, what did I write uh, last time uh, in my first video? The people who followed it a bit, they maybe have read it. I wrote, I think I brought it to the edge, my Ender 3, where you cannot get more out of it, out of this design with a minimum amount of investment. And, and <laughs> I wrote this a week ago, right? No, it's wrong. Uh, so I think, let me correct it. Uh, if we think like that, we will stop innovating. So I think even if we are getting a hundred years old, we can always get better, right? We can always get innovative. We, we, we always get, we always learn, we always innovate. Uh, now between that time and now I designed a complete new X axis. I always had, or sometimes I have with the X axis, some issues. I will show this to you then really more detailed in the video and I print something. So that will be the next video. Mm, and the video after, I will finally show you my my bed. Then we know each other a little bit better, so I can show you some bed of mine. <laughs> it will be fantastic. Uh, stay tuned. So let's get this thing dismantled. Uh, uh, first, I need to I get rid of the bed, right? And I will not show you my bed today. Don't think that. Now here, as you, as you see, I use a little bit uh, stronger springs. Uh, I don't use the original springs. Mm. I also did, before I used some, uh, before I used some silicon, but I went back to the springs. So this is the Y-axis um, carrier. It sounds terrible, so I'm going to dismantle this. Actually, this whole y-axis is quite a weight to move around, right, uh, for the motors. Now, uh, you see this is not the standard one, this I bought. Um, I'm also thinking about getting rid of this totally and buying a smaller one and ma or making a not buying making a smaller one i will do this also in one of the upcoming videos so because i want to get rid of the weight and i want to make it more stable now you see here something uh, that i did not add i did not put my uh, belt to these uh, these small holes here and the reason why I didn't do this, I want to have my belt 100% horizontal, okay? Because if it's a little bit, now this is not the, in the original setup of the ender, this will not be so high. So it will be maybe here in the, in the middle between these two, between now the current belt position and this height, okay? But the way how I designed the bed is a little higher. Mm. So, but even if it's in the middle, you have still, you, you, you see on your ender that this, that this belt is not straight. It's not 100% horizontal. It goes a little bit up here. It goes a little bit up on the, on the other side. 
and this creates a little error as, as long as it goes, as soon as it goes more out, right? So it, as, as soon as this Y uh, carrier is going to the edges. So I designed this 100% horizontal. This was also another requirement for my site. So let's open this. Let's see how this looks like. Okay. And this is a y-axis. This is the part I'm using and I designed. And you see it's, it's, I use this now for like half a year. It's absolutely perfect. It's absolutely flat. Uh, this is printed in ABS. Uh, if you have paid attention to my videos before, or where I show you the surfaces of my ABS prints, and I, I want to, I want you get the same through my video series. We, I bring you there, okay? It takes a time. It's not a one thing. Oh, you need to do this and this, and then you have perfect prints. I will bring you there. So this is not so nice and shiny. This surface, right? Because when I uh, designed this, I couldn't print it because at that time I couldn't print ABS, right? I was not able to print ABS at all. Uh, it was warping. I needed the maximum size I could print was something like this. So it's just maybe a third, a third of that. This is very, this is a very simple part, but it need to be one part. For my very first Y drive for rails, I bought outside. And as you see, it comes with the two rails and uh, it comes with two, two L-shaped aluminum things. Okay, that is, that doesn't make sense. Because this part here is designed because you want to have a stability, right? If you have two L-shaped aluminum parts on each side of this rail, you create an, an additional unstable behavior on a very, on actually your most important axis movement of your ender because the ender is, the most important part is this here. It has to be super stable and it has to be super straight and it goes this long size and it, if this is a little bit unstable here and if you do a design where you separate here two aluminum plates, it will not work, right? So I designed it in a way that um, you have one part, one piece on both sides. You know, we can print this. It, 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 it fits perfect. You know, we have the size of the profile, we have the height of the rails, and then it's very simple to print something like this. So let's put this rail aside. Let's put this rail aside. So here we go. Actually, I also should open this part. Yes, this is where I want to go. So, here we go. <laughs> so, this is a very simple the design. You see, I have added here, this is, I think, an M4. Uh, and here are uh, some M3 nuts. And uh, this belt is perfectly sitting in here. Uh, this I have added here, you see it's a little bit down, it's a perfect space. Um, you need to be sure that these screws are not scratching on the surface of the profile. But that's it. It's a very, very simple design and it keeps this moving parts together. And I don't know where it's broken, but maybe there is some dirt inside. Maybe even cleaning is okay. But I have better rails, so I want to install those. Right. So also let me show you, because of the rail drive, um, of course you need, and it looks ugly. I know it's white at that time when I printed it, I had only white. So the uh, Y end stop need to be displaced a little bit because otherwise it would not trigger anything with this new design. So I will also upload that file to my website so you can get it from there. This is just a very simple print and replacement, very easy. Good, let me get rid of this rail. So, 
just easily on. But again, uh, you see also with a not too good quality rails, you can also get actually a good result. So uh, it just it just maybe, and and maybe it would not break so easy uh, if I would have cleaned it nicely before. You see also some there is some dust here. This is dust from the belt. Okay, so we have two kinds. It could also be that through time some dust from the belt. Also from this, uh, from this uh, strengthener, the belt is not really nicely aligned in here. So you see the belt already wear it out on the side. It's not really good. So again, I'm trying to replace this as well. So here we go. Now, in order to install the new rails, I have printed uh, these two parts. Mm, to align the rail in the right way. So now let's put let's put this a bit different. So let's align this now with these spacers. So let's clean this one more time here and don't forget later on to put some oil. Awesome. Um, people might say, ah, don't put oil. Yeah, I, you know what I mean. <laughs> so let's clean this nicely. Now we put back our new uh, carrier. This you have to be a bit careful here because we don't want to squeeze out the, the balls. Don't squeeze out the balls. This has to be... You need to do this very careful, right? Um, that is very important to be absolutely straight and be careful by doing this. Something like that. And now this is sliding fantastic. This is one side and we are going to add the other side. Again, this has to be, you see here, there are two, uh, two silicon uh, parts here. You have to put this first on. Maybe you put those balls a little bit to the back side that there is this small space here in the beginning. And you put these silicon parts here first in. And then you have to be very, very careful. And now it already went in, right? So. Perfect. Oh, look at that. This is fantastic. Good. Now we come to the last part. We put back our carrier and hope that everything fits perfectly together. Good. Uh, you know, as these this part is designed, it has to be designed very, very well because it has to go 100% into, it has to fit perfectly. It has to fit perfectly together with, uh, with the carriers mm. and then it will be very, very nice. So, uh, use. They, you know, we have four screws on each side. So they, you don't need to over tight them. You just have to have a little bit tight, that's it. And it should be firm, but not super strong, right? So, and, and that is, Fantastic, a beautiful movement, very nice, very smooth, and that is exactly what we need. So again, this, this part I will redesign later on, um, and I will share with you my result, because again, I, I don't like that part too much. 
I may be, I may be design an aluminium plate. Yes, I will design a smaller aluminium plate in this size. Yeah, and this I will share then later with you how this worked out. So anyway, let's get these things back screwed in. I use here these uh, spring washers. I think they are a bit more tight and I think I think they are better. I'm, you know, you can tell me later on if you think that as well. So, but those screws, I first put in these four screws here uh, to make it fit 100%. And the four small screws already fine. I don't over tighten them because they are just tightened into the ABS. So this is just a good fit. I want to make this thing a hundred percent not moving, not wobbling around during my print. This is just a little bit tightened. Don't over tighten this. So, and now the big screws and then we are pretty much done. It's just a bit forced to press these spring washers down. That's it. I don't want to have too much force on it. There's, it's already this is exactly what we need. And this is a perfect Y drive. Thank you very much for your interest in my channel. I'm very happy you watched it. Um, I or actually originally I wanted to add uh, the design how to change this mm, moving plate in Blender to adopt to your design, but I think it would make this video too long. I keep it like this. I will make one extra video for the blender changes. And if you like, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, maybe <laughs> also give me a thumbs up. It helps my uh, channel. No, I'm I'm very happy to. I'm I'm very happy uh, for every like here. I'm very happy if you enjoyed it, and it it it, it encourages me to make more of this. Right. So I'm um, very happy to share with you ideas. I'm also glad that you did this in, on your channels out there on YouTube because it encourages me to improve more, to create more. And that's also what I hope you will do as well. Thank you so much and see you. Yeah, my next video is going to be interesting. I tell you, it will be a complete new X axis. And I will again tell We'll, we'll build it up. I will share you with you the design afterwards. And I'm happy when if it works because that is a totally new design. I don't try this yet. So yeah, stay tuned. Will be very interesting. Bye bye.